Hello guys, welcome back to my part two of this Ford Explorer repair video. This thing is in full swing. I got the front end already painted. Still have to do final assembly. Um, I'm still waiting for the hood rod. So at this, at this point, I'm using a one by something to hold up the hood. Again, that's just temporary. And uh, I'm still gonna disassemble the headlights and, and put them back together so I'll make sure everything lines up properly. Uh, but that's that. I already started to assemble my front bumper. There's tons of pieces that go in there. I and mean, then also working on the interior today to replace all the airbags and in the dash panel. This is my uh, steering column that I removed. Unfortunately, I have to replace the whole thing just because of this small uh, detonator that's on here. I think the only Fords actually have this little system. It's called a collapsible steering column. I'm not actually sure what it does because it still functions like, uh, like it's supposed to, but you have this little red thing that pops out, so you have to replace the whole thing. And this is my new steering column that I picked up from the dealership. It's still packaged up. And again, they're both functional. It's uh, the only thing is that small little red uh, tab that pops out. So this one's deployed and this one is not. Another pro tip for all you guys who uh, do this, I always recommend checking the dealership for, for parts because I bought this steering column in this driver's airbag. This was much cheaper to buy from the dealer than it was from any salvage yard or any used supplier. Uh, same with the actual steering column, so uh, always worth checking. I bought quite a few things for this vehicle just straight from the dealer because salvage yards just ask for ridiculous prices. All right, so on to the interior. I began with removing my front two seats. Um, you don't actually have to do that, but uh, it gives me some more space to work. And also, this particular restraint module is in between the seats. And it's very difficult to reach without removing them. So at this point, it's best just to remove them. And also today, um, I'm not gonna completely finish this whole project because I'm still waiting for a clock spring. So this particular clock spring melted on me because of the Arabic deployment. So I ordered a new one, so I'm waiting on that. And then also I'm waiting on the, on the actual restraint module as well. So this is a fast forward version of replacing the dash panel. It actually didn't take that long, somewhere around four hours I'd say, with uh, with some breaks here and there. I wasn't actually rushing, I took my time to keep track of all the bolts and screws that I took off. Uh, same with the plugs, I need to make sure that everything's accounted for, everything goes back exactly where it came from so you don't have any issues later. One thing that you really don't wanna do is uh, re repeat the whole process if you forgot something. So other than not wearing a belt for this video, everything went really smooth. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this panel swap. I also take off the seat belts on both sides. Both of my seat belts are locked up, so I'm waiting on those. So once that comes in, I'm gonna reassemble that this week sometimes. And uh, do expect another video. This should be my final video. I'll get the whole front end reassembled. My whole interior should be complete. Uh, so please stay tuned. Thanks to you guys for watching and subscribing and also for commenting. So feel free to, to leave me a comment. I try to reply to all. Uh, and again, I hope you guys had a great holiday and I wish you a great New Year's. Thanks.